Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to CTR. I'm on the training with Malcolm. Yes. Thank you so much for having me here as well. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do this. Um, it stands for Automatic External Defibrillator. And this is used if they have a shockable rhythm to reset their heart and get it pumping again. Okay? Um, so we have these located in various areas around the ship. So they're located at the reception desk, the bridge, the residence gym, the medical center, and at the pool, on the pool deck. So that's where they can be located. All right? All the AEDs look the same, okay? Um, very simple, you're gonna open it up, and um, what do you think the first thing is we're gonna do? It's all laid out. One, two, three. So on. Number one, exactly, turn it on. on. And then listen for directions. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads. pads connector next to flashing light. Okay. okay. So it directs you exactly what to do. So apply the pads to the bare chest. So we got these pads located. Apply pads. Plug in. I'm just going to turn this <laughs> off so I can speak. Um, so the pads, they yes. have an illustration of where they are located. Oh, okay. You see that? Yes. So this one here, you just match it up. It's going to go to the top of the right chest. All right, okay, and then you have the next one, it's gonna be located to the left side of the chest, all right? Just below the pec, okay? So you put those on, so turn that on. This has to go directly on the skin as well, okay? Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Okay, so we got this on the bare skin, this is gonna get plugged in. And then we listen for the prompt. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Okay, so we'd stop CPR at this point. Okay. Hold compressions. Shock advised. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of the patient. Okay, so deliver shock. Deliver now. shock. So I'm clear, you're clear, clear, we're all clear. Now. Shocking. Shock delivered. Shock delivered. Four. If needed, start CPR. Okay, and then we get back on the chest, start pushing again, all right? Um, how would we know if needed to continue CPR? What are we looking for? Breathing. That's right, the same signs that we saw before, right? Are they breathing, are they responsive, right? Are they moving around talking? No, okay, then we get on that chest, we keep pushing. Once this is turned on, we leave it on. Um, it's gonna let us do two minutes cycle of CPR and then it's gonna prompt us whether to shock or not again, okay? How Perfect. many times do you keep doing it till you just keep up? Keep going till help arrives. Keep going, eh? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very simple. So it's just CPR and this. What do you think choking Charlie is? Yeah, obstructed <laughs> airway. Obstructed um, airway, yeah. So have you guys heard of the Heimlich maneuver? No? Mine. Mine? So the Heimlich maneuver is a procedure we use to remove an obstruction um, from someone's airway. But it would have to be a complete obstruction. So it's not a partial obstruction. So if you see someone, they're coughing, they're in distress, would we use the Heimlich? No. Okay? Uh, because they're still moving air, we don't want to dislodge that partial obstruction and make it a full obstruction. Okay? So if they're distressed, we watch them, we encourage them to keep coughing, monitoring, make sure that, you know, that it doesn't progress to something worse. Um, if it does progress, becomes a full obstruction, how do you think they present themselves? They'd be silent, right? Because silent. now it's blocking their way. So if they're coughing, <coughs> yes. and then they're silent. They're, they're distressed, they're going blue, that's when we use the Heimlich, oh. all right? So to do the Heimlich, we would go behind them. Um, we want to put one leg between their legs the reason for that is if they were to collapse, they're not going to take us out with them, right? So we can kind of support them, lower them to the ground. If I was standing like this and they were to collapse, I'm falling down as well, okay? Then we find their hips. We're going to go across to their belly button, okay? We're going to landmark there. We make a fist, right? We're supporting them on our chest. We're grabbing that and then we're just pushing. Okay, this thing's stopped working. We're gonna keep pushing until that obstruction comes out, okay? Um, 
Now, what happens if it doesn't come out? How long do we push for it? We say pop or drop. So we're going to keep doing the maneuver, okay, until the hot dog falls, comes out. So pop out or till they pass out and drop, okay? So they say I don't get it out, they pass out, I lay them on the floor. Now what do we do? CPR. 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 Yes. That's right. Yeah, exactly right. So we just get back on their chest, landmark, right, and we just start pushing, okay? Call for help, 